talk about a tip of the iceberg moment that we had on the channel this week. And I don't use idioms lightly unless the situation really calls for it, as does this one with Maya Pancetta. Now, if you're already up to speed because you watched the video earlier this week, then welcome to the winner's circle, my friend. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you do or don't and run the risk of pissing me off, in which case I'll stuff my fat ass down your chimney like a red bearded Santa Claus and press my hairy navel into your eyeball while you're sleeping. So 22 year old Mia Ponsetto goes viral, right? For trying to tackle this 14 year old kid because she thinks he has her phone. She thinks he stole her phone. Uh, he did. Causes a huge scene. The victim's father gets it all on camera, goes crazy viral. She bounces from New York out to Los Angeles. Angeles, several weeks later, gets arrested, extradited from LA back to New York. The day before she got arrested, she did an interview on a morning show with Gail King. So we watched what I didn't know at the time, but was only the first half of the interview. So there's more that's come out since then. And I also just found out that this girl is a serial piece of garbage. Because in just a few short days, I've discovered that this girl has been arrested on three other occasions in the past year alone, not including this most recent charge. And it's very interesting that this was part of her interview. I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but. I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody. I agree with Gail here. You can't define someone by one mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. Gail and I both agreed a single mistake shouldn't define anybody. But what about when it's habitual mistakes made consecutively in a short time period and you learn nothing and they just keep happening. Then it then it starts to define. She got arrested in February of last year with her mom, believe it or not, for public intoxication and battery after a skirmish with police. Fast forward to May 29th, the same year, Maya Ponsetto, who was clearly intoxicated as she left a supermarket and hopped in her car, prompted a worried bystander to call 911, resulting in cops allegedly finding open containers and booze and marijuana in her car, which led to her arrest and a DUI charge. Fast forward to October, five days after she was put on probation for pleading no contest to the pre previous drunk driving charge. She's arrested again after the cops get called because her and her mother got in an altercation at a gas station. They show up, it's a complete shit show, they resist arrest. Turns out she was driving with a blood alcohol level, double the legal limit with a suspended license. So she gets arrested, which she goes on to resist. There's a little footage of that here. I'm especially fond of her thinking the cop needs a warrant to arrest her after the cops were called on them and he finds out she's been driving on a suspended license while drunk. Mom, you are just coming here for no reason. Oh my God. You are just no. detaining me for no reason. I'm like, no. No, that's my daughter. <laughs> Judging from the court records in this video, it's clear that the apple does not fall far from the tree because her mother is equally infected with brain worms. That's the second idiom I've used this video. That's how you know how serious this is. I didn't do anything to you, dude. Ma'am, he's telling you more than five times now. You should li li please listen. All right, yeah, relax, because you just like are a man of power. You probably your wife is a fucking dead <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, relax, because you just like are a man of power. You probably your wife is a fucking dead girl. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't hear exactly, but in response to the officers telling her to relax, uh, it sounds like she takes a shot at their wives, making fun of them, not maybe fornicating at home of some sort. I don't Anyways, know. Anyways, if you're wondering, wow, why can't this girl just calm down and maybe have a conversation if it was all a misunderstanding? It's because she's drunk again and was driving, so she got a second DUI after being on probation for a DUI five months earlier. So as we dive into the second half of this Gail King interview to see if it could possibly get any worse for her than it already is, let's remember not to let this most recent mistake define her. Let's let all of her mistakes define her, because there's a shitload of them. We spoke with Ponsetto and her attorney, that's Sharon Gatan, just hours before her arrest last week. This morning, we begin where we left off on Friday. Oh, baby. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. Oh, okay, so let's that's you, the thing. Do you I mean, want to get to that you're, part? You're saying, look, because I'm 22 years old. You're 22 phone. years old, but you are old enough to know better. Oh, the hotel so I will didn't say have you're my... 22. Right, I get it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. <laughs> of course they had to show that part again. She silenced her interviewer in an interview where she's trying to make herself look better. You just can't write it any better than the that. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. So, maybe it wasn't him, but at the same time, how is it so that uh, as soon as I get asked to leave the premises uh, after I had accused this person of stealing my phone, how is it that 
all of a sudden. They just miraculously have my phone when I come back. Because the Uber driver returned it to the hotel, which is exactly what they told you. Very simple explanation here. And the two, and uh, the, the, it didn't seem as if uh, my accusations really bothered the, the son and the father because they were just uh, enjoying a nice meal right after this whole uh, encounter. But all I'm saying- I don't know. What? <laughs> you mean the same son and father that have been campaigning to get you arrested for the last month? Who've been doing non-stop interviews talking about how deeply this hurt them and their family? It didn't seem as if uh, my accusations really bothered the, the son and the father because they were just uh, enjoying a nice meal right after this whole uh, encounter. You see, Gail, how could what I did even be considered wrong? The father and son were eating a meal after the whole thing transpired. There's no possible way they could have been affected by it if they ate food afterward. It's not like the human body requires it to live. But all I'm saying- I don't know if you- Mia, is I want I don't this know to be over, what, and I'm sorry. Whether they were so I would love to your, make this short and sweet, Gail. You, Mia, Mia. <laughs> I want to go back to that day. Take us back- <laughs> It's over, Gail. Let's wrap it up. Clearly by this daddy hat and shit-eating side grin on my face, you can tell I'm obviously remorseful. Let's get things moving, Gail. Shut it down. Wrap it up, Gail. I wasn't even in the wrong, Gail! They ate food! Afterwards, just a little game of tackle football amongst friends in the Arlo Lobby Hotel, Gail. Not a big deal. We all shared a milkshake right after. Wrap it up. I wasn't racial profiling whatsoever. I'm a woman. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm like a woman of color. I'm, I'm Italian, Greek, Puerto Rican. You keep saying you're Puerto Rican. Does that mean that you can't be racist because you're saying you're a woman of color? Is that what you mean? Exactly. <laughs> Classic. She's Puerto Rican. She couldn't possibly profile somebody else based on their race. That's reserved for motherfuckers that came over on the Mayflower only. Exactly. Well, I, I would disagree with that people of color what? can be racist too. Do whoa, you whoa, Gail. Whoa. Calm down. Do not let woke Twitter get a hold of that clip, my girl. You're going to get crushed. Do you believe that you should pay a price for this? I don't feel that my accusation is a is a is a crime but it's more than the accusation it's the way that you tackled him it seems on the videotape <laughs> what would you do differently you said that you look at that tape and that's they not who you afterwards. are i think i could have just asked the hotel manager so yes i could have stepped aside or the I, probably a good start is to ask somebody before going for the dick buckus form tackle yes i could have stepped aside or the father and i we we immediately could have uh started just speaking at a lower tone, and probably that would have handled the whole situation a lot better. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. You have a history of being able to de-escalate situations nicely. I didn't do anything to you! Restraint and poise. Learn, Learn about it. When Mr. Harold was talking to you, it seemed to me that he was responding to you because you had accused his son. I'm saying that both of us. I said that both of us. You see, you see two black people? No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! Bottom line is this issue is much bigger than, um... I think Mia is appreciating, and she, she sees it as a very simple thing. Finally, the lawyer speaks, and it's the first thing that makes sense, because Mia clearly does not understand what she's up against here. Coming off two DUI arrests, still pending the court cases, facing assault, grand larceny, and a handful of other things on top of the February arrest for public intoxication and battery on a police officer. This girl's gonna get fucking smoked. And the way she's handling herself makes me think that she just, she doesn't quite get or it. Or alternatively, she's from a very wealthy family. I don't know this. It seems like maybe she's just kind of like this spoiled rat. And they'll hire a different attorney and just, or pay someone a bunch of money, like a judge, and she'll get a slap on the wrist, because that's basically how the justice system works. Wu-Tang wasn't kidding when they say cash rules everything around me. Unless you eat a person and film it and turn yourself in, you can pretty much get away with anything with the right amount of money. She was a 22-year-old woman alone in New York. Oh no one is with her. Miss me with that alone in New York sob story bullshit or I will play that Marv clip once again. I've reached the top! It's been reported that your phone was returned to you by an Uber driver. Is that true? That is not true because I arrived at the hotel with my phone in my hand. Okay, who returned your phone to you? The uh, hotel uh, receptionist. Mia, where had the phone been? Why don't we ask the hotel receptionist? So now she's claiming she entered the hotel with her phone. So is the hotel lying? I don't know what to believe. I just know who I'm least likely to believe based on prior actions. To be honest, I'm telling you, you seem to be not remorseful, to have no contrition, that you're almost a little flippant about this. You have to understand for this teenage boy 
who says that he was shattered, who said that he was traumatized. This I'm is a traumatized. You're traumatized too because... Yeah, and I'm I'd be traumatized too if my annual police report was 35 pages long. You're traumatized too because... Yeah, and I'm sorry. I had, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. He is honestly... He, he's 14. And that's what they're, that's what they're claiming. Um, yeah, I'm 22. I'm, I'm that's what they're claiming? Like they're just lying about his age to try and drum up the situation worse than it already is? I've, I've lived probably just the same amount of life as him. Like, honestly. 22, 14, 35, 60. What is age but a number, right? Like, honestly. I'm just as a kid at heart as he is. Uh, my brain just melted into a pile of jelly inside of my skull. In a weird twist of fate, she's using the same defense as pedophilia sympathizers. I feel sorry that I made the family go through like all of that stress, but at the same time, it wasn't just them going through that. We can't forget who the real victim is here, guys, okay? This girl is a 14-year-old trapped in a 22-year-old's body. That has to be difficult to deal with. Of when course you looked not. at that video, what did you think? What did you think, Mia, you when already you looked asked at me the that. video? You already asked me that in the beginning of the interview. I'm not. I'm okay. not going over it again. I, I, I would like right. to. I would like to have a real interview with real questions and real heart and real sincere apologies. Let 2021 be the moment of healing. Seriously. How about some real questions, Gail? Like maybe Mia. How many episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians have you seen? Spoiler alert. It's all of them. Also, um, what's your URL for your OnlyFans? Because I have an OnlyFans. Obviously, Gail, you're really killing my vibe with these serious questions. You're making me uncomfortable. 2021 is supposed to be a year of healing. Like honestly. I'll give you the four. What would you like us to know? Mia. That I'm sincerely sorry to the family um, and the dad and the son for making them feel as if I was uh, racist towards them when that is not my intention. Now, during the interview, Ponsetto kept interrupting her attorney and Gatan, Sharon Gatan says her client went off script. According to her lawyer, Ponsetto was prepared for this interview. They had talked about it. They had gone over it. But the 22-year-old, she says, decided to disregard her advice she was given and just went on her own. I mean, this girl is in a river of shit without a paddle because it got stolen by a black teenager, according to her. Uh, and she won't even take little bits of advice from her lawyer. Her ego, her stubbornness, her lack of self-awareness is astounding. Strikes me as the kind of girl that will never learn no matter what. Could go to jail, doesn't matter. We'll probably just have lifelong issues uh, socially and interrelationally. Clearly her mother uh, was not the best example since she was the one getting in half of the skirmishes with her last year that got her arrested. The attorney says, look, she's concerned about her mental health and her well-being, and she of course wishes her well. And I could see why she is concerned. Now I don't know me, I don't know what's going on in her life. Clearly she's incredibly unlikable and I think lacks uh, some normal human emotions that uh, make people empathetic or uh, reasonable members of society. I'm curious to see where she lands after the dust settles on all these cases and these charges are all played out in court. Apparently suspending her license wasn't enough to stop her from drunk driving again a few short months later. That type of shit I can't stand because she's risking other people's lives. She's not just making an ass out of herself. All that being said, if she does end up in jail, I think Netflix gotta bring back Orange is the New Black because she would be a phenomenal character on that show, no cap. And remember, a little bit of restraint and poise when faced with some adversity in public will go a long way to see to it that you make a better transition through life than our friend Mia here. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hip thrust that motherfucking like button on your way out the door to get that daddy hat you want so bad after watching this video. Peace.